Um, when it first came in personally, it was it's a very you know scary moment, a scary time for me, because um, I've always been super healthy, you know, a lifeguard, everything, you know, athletic, and, you know, gymnastic, everything, did a little bit of everything, uh, cycling, and to find out and to see myself deteriorate like that from some some sickness that's inside of me that I had no control over. Uh, I never thought I'd see myself that low, that weak, where I couldn't do anything. My name is Carla. I'm from Riverside, California, and I'm diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, stage four. It was, oh, it affected, me, it affected a lot because I had two external tumors on my, on my left breast that were constantly um, causing issues, hemorrhaging and oozing. And so I was constantly cleaning up. I was in a cleanup thing all constantly. So it really affected it. They were painful and uh, I couldn't even make up my own bed at that time. And I was on oxygen all the time. So uh, I just saw it as a battle um, one day at a time. And actually at that point in time, it was one day at a time. And I knew every day that I stuck with it, had positive thoughts, you know, God heals all, you know, you have to go God first, always God first, it gives me strength. And I called them on doing a lot during that time. I still do, but it, it, it always just kept me going. Oh, you know, I was faithful led by this. You know, my, my mom uh, in 2013 had died from cancer, although she did have uh, breast cancer in her 70s. And she, she had double mastectomy and we thought it was all gone. And, and she actually passed when she was 94, so she, she survived it. But uh, the, the week that she passed, we found out that she had also had developed stomach cancer that the doctors hadn't even seen. So I was just, you know, happy to look around and looking at the internet about cancer treatments and I ran across ITC. Not even knowing, like, you know, and that was like January, February that year and, and in May I was diagnosed. Oh, you know, I had listened to all the testimonies, everything. I, I do really do a lot of discernment and so I had great expectations and I was just really excited. My sons both were a little bit hesitant, you know, just like, I don't know, mom. I said, we're going, we're going. And they said, I'm going without you or you can come with me. So but I was going and uh, I was very excited and met all my expectations. It was, it was very comforting, actually. You know, he, he, he was a very solid person. He knew exactly, um, his eyes are very, very, very telling. And, you, and I love it when someone looks you directly in the eye, no wavering, he just looks right into your soul and, he, and he's truthful and you know he's truthful and he knows um, how to the right things to say to comfort you and to let you know exactly what's going on and so and he, he'll answer any question that you have. And so you always know what, where you stand, where your condition stands and, and he's a very, very positive person. This is always, this is always this is excellent. They were quite comfortable. I have some of them were to me, actually. The other than a poke, you know, you get your poke from the IPs coming in, and, and that's that's about it. Um, the, the treatments are very, very non-invasive, and they're um, they're actually, you know, you sit there and you get them, and you're feeling comforted, and knowing that, and knowing that things you're going to get results. You just know, and it's, then you sit there, so you just have great expectations, and know the expectations are going to be met. No, oh, it's all been excellent from day one. This is very open, very, very, you know, Holy Spirit-led staff, I would say. Like you, feel, you can feel them here very strongly, moving through everyone. It, it, no matter what your job is here, everyone seems to know you, and everybody greets you, and it's very uplifting and very positive atmosphere, and everyone's so very friendly. And when I, when I return home after those first three weeks, uh, the tumors on the outside, we still, I still had the um, home care, health care coming in, attending to those. And, and I looked up, you know, I kept faith and one day they were gone and, and, and it was healed on that side. And so it was just, that was a major thing. And I was still on the oxygen and still toting the oxygen. I said, oh, one day I won't have to tote the oxygen. And I look up and in the past three months, now past three months, I haven't used oxygen at all. So it's nice to be able to release, you know, see the tumors gone. Um, at least for those, there's still a lot more we're working on. 
Uh, and, but you see progress like that, major progress, especially in the breathing and being able to, you know, be out that wheelchair. You never thought I'd be in a wheelchair. So, not the wheelchair, and I can breathe on my own, and I'm just moving forward, winning each battle. So, soon the war will be won. That's it. So it, it's always been a nice experience. It still is. I was just, I was just shocked because I hadn't been here in like decades, and uh, it is the way it's grown. It's really a beautiful city. So people are so nice here. You always have it. It's a very relaxing, calming city. And it's nice. You know, the news, the news doesn't do it justice. You know, there's no if on this one. This all, it's, you know, I'm, I'm always actively advocating ITC. Always, and I've got two people, one person up there in, in Washington State. I've got people calling me from prayer groups and their husbands and with their wives having the same condition I do. And I said, you gotta go. You have to go. I said, if, if the doctors, even this morning, you know, my nurse from my oncologist office said, I've terminal. I said, hey, you need to bite your tongue. And so I've chewed her out. and. So I'm always advocating. I'm always across the country, anybody, everybody I talk with. And actually, I did I did speak with one of my associates, and her, her she brought her niece down a few weeks after I came back, and she immediately got hopped in the car and brought her down here. And uh, she had a few diabetes, which was bad, but you know they were there to help her. And to someone, she went back, and she's being okay. She's like, doing better. But I'm always there's not a day that goes by I don't mention ITC because they're. There are so many people with this with the disease, you know, all different types of cancer. I'm in mean, a lot of prayer groups, and one prayer intercessory group has grown from, I mean, one, it's, there are so many people with this uh, disease that they have just dedicated money to praying for them. So I just step, you know, put in the email to everybody, you know, they, here, here's hope. If you want help, you know, contact me. And uh, so I'm hoping I'm always sending the message out. Just everybody in the world should know about this.